Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. I was gone for quite a while. I was not posting on here. I was posting on my other social medias consistently still, um, but I have not made a new YouTube video in a really, really long time and I'm sorry for that. I've been just going through some personal things lately and I just did not have the energy to make content for my other social medias and for YouTube. You can see my dog in the background. His name's Bear. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's get on with the topic of today's video. You're watching Caitlin and Kiwi. So today I'm going to be talking about the top three myths and misconceptions about caring for a bearded dragon. There is so much stuff out there about bearded dragon care, and sometimes it's hard to know what's true and what's not. So I thought that I would um, introduce you guys to the misconceptions that I see people talking about the most. Number one is that sand causes impaction. For the longest time, everybody thought that sand and loose substrate in general were awful for reptiles because um, if your reptile were to eat the substrate, um, it was thought that your reptile would not be able to poop it out and that it would cause impaction, which is basically constipation. And impaction can be very serious in some cases. But that's actually a huge, huge myth. Loose substrate is perfectly fine for bearded dragons, and it's sometimes preferred over a hard substrate like tile. In the wild, bearded dragons love to dig and burrow, and in the wild, um, bearded dragon, like the natural substrate in the desert, is made out of 99% sand. The only reason that your dragon would get impacted if you are using sand is if your husbandry is not correct. So your temps, your humidity, and your lighting setup all need to be perfect if you're going to use loose substrate um, because if they're not, you do risk um, having your dragon become impacted. I've gotten into debates with people before and um find that some people are especially reluctant to change their opinions because they think that they have been caring for reptiles for so long that they know everything and it's really annoying but it is what it is my dog is crying at the window he wants to go outside And myth number two is that mealworms cause impaction in bearded dragons. I actually used to be a firm believer in this. Um, and now that I've done my research, I have changed my opinion and I know better. Again, it's really an issue with husbandry. If your husbandry isn't correct, anything that your dragon eats can cause impaction. That being said, mealworms do have a hard exoskeleton. Um... And for that reason, they have more of an exoskeleton than they do, like, actual meat and protein inside of them. And so, they should really only be fed as a treat and not as a staple in your bearded dragon's diet. You want to say hi? <laughs> And the third and last misconception that I would like to address is that bearded dragons only need a 40-gallon tank. The size of tank requirements for reptiles have changed uh, drastically in the last few years. Like five years ago, it would have been totally acceptable to have an adult bearded dragon live its life out in a 40-gallon tank. But research has since proven 
that the new tank minimum needs to be four feet by two feet by two feet. And this does seem quite large, but bearded dragons are not small lizards. They're fairly medium sized. And they are really active creatures during the day if you have the proper setup for them. If your bearded dragon is in a 40 gallon still and it's full grown, don't worry about it. Um, just save up some money and upgrade when you can. You can build the enclosure yourself. Uh, you can look into a place uh, like Zen Habitats. This video is not sponsored in any way, but um, I know a lot of people who are very happy with their Zen Habitat tanks that they have bought for their bearded dragons or um, for other animals. All right, guys, that is it for today. And thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to comment down below on what kind of content you would like to see next and don't forget to share this video and um tell your lizard loving friends about me all of my other social medias will be linked down in the description so if you'd like to see daily content you can go there and i hope you guys have a wonderful day